started working with Micah recently, teaching him to hold the door open, and it's something I've never thought about, you know, teaching a dog to do this, ever. And this was his mom's idea, and instantly his mom's, his owner, um, is, she mentioned this, and instantly I was like, no, he can't do that, he's small, and doors have a tendency to make dogs shy, you know, so I'm like, no, he's too small to do that, then I'm thinking it's Micah, let's see if he can do it. And we have him doing it rudimentarily, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing to train him to do this. We had him upstate doing it, and I've worked on this door and a door downstairs. So it's, it's real simple. Now, he's rudimentarily doing this. So we open the door. Now, keep in, keep in mind, if you're going to do this, that you don't want the door to slam on the dog. Now, doors are not heavy, but some of them, different doors have different amounts of tension, and we're working with the door downstairs, too. And I had a door, uh, door upstate that had a bungee cord on it that had a lot of tension. So make sure that when you're doing this that you're not letting the dog, you know, let it slam on the dog because th it might not hurt him, but you might make the dog uh, barn sour. So wh what I do, this is real simple and straightforward. Watch what I do. I'm going to bring Micah a heel, right? Heel, here. Sit. No, Micah, heel. Heel, here, sit. Now he said sit. Now I want to sort of like move his butt so the door hits his butt. I'm going to put my foot right here against his butt. I'm going to sort of slide him that way. Right? So now the door is against his butt. You see how that is? Sit. I'm going to move my foot away. No. I'm going to do it again. Sit. Sit. No, sit. Sit. Now we have to habituate the dog to this. We have to get the dog used to holding doors open. Let's take him downstairs. That door uh, is real shiny and it it's, has a lot more tension to it. But he, as you see, he's picking this up. And I think I sent a video to his mom saying, you know, if you work with him for just a little bit, I'm sure that you can get him to the point where it's Michael hold the door open and Michael will run over and you know, he thinks it's a job, so any time that the dog, the dog's been trained that everything's sort of a game, right? You're a good boy, yes. Um, you know, it, he should be, in a month or so of working with him, I'm sure that he can just spin and sit down and you can let the door close and he'll hold it open like this. He's, very, he's a very good dog, he's fun to work with. Let's take him downstairs and see how he does. But see how he is? See how the door is against his butt? That's how you want it. Like a heel. So the principle is the same with this door. We're gonna bring Mike over here. Here. Sit. No, sit. I'm gonna slide his butt a little bit. Make sure his butt is towards the door like that. I still have my foot down here. Can you see that? I'm gonna slowly let the door. No, sit. Touch his butt. Now, I'm not holding the door. He's holding the door open. Sit. Now, sit. There's a train coming in which causes excitement because of all the noise, but sit. Now, sit. No. I can hear. You're doing good, buddy. Now, heel. Heel. Come here, heel. Sit. Now, sit. I'm going to slide his butt over this way. Sit. So his butt's against the door. Sit. 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 Sit is implied, it's an implied stay, so he's not supposed to move until I give him a command. This is new for him, if you would make a mistake, it's no big deal, but just put him back down where he was, as quickly as possible. Sit. Like a heel. No, heel. Sit. 
It's a good boy. And Mike is like a little monkey. Look at him. It's like a little blonde monkey. Yeah, I used to think that this guy looked like a girl, you know, because he, he sort of looks like Farrah Fawcett or something. But he's all boy. This is this is a boy dog. Micah. It's like a midget. I'm gonna miss him. God, I'm gonna miss him. Oh my god.